Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, uh, 486, Pickup Sticks, yeah. Now, uh, it's just another day, uh, I'm here trying to <laughs> find other work, do other work, uh, I'm a man for hire, no, uh, I'm just chilling, uh, trying to stay busy, uh, sold some plates and some mugs, or some cups, whatever you call them. Ceramic mugs, so that's pretty cool. I got some cash there to uh, gamble on parlays. I'm becoming addicted. I hate it. I hate myself. Um, but I mean, I hated myself both before, so who really cares, right? But uh, uh, let's look at the news here because <laughs> that's what I want to do, just distract myself with the news. Hold on, let's take a look here. Uh, Supreme Court declines to weigh in on battle over bathrooms for transgender students. I didn't know this was still a thing going on, but the Supreme Court declined Tuesday to decide whether schools can bar transgender students from using a bathroom that reflects their gender identity. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I don't know. To me, there's three types of bathrooms, right? There's your men's, your girls, and then your handicap. And the handicap, anyone can use it. So I feel like you know, uh, that's whatever. Anyone can use that one. That that one's um, up for grabs, you know, first come, first serve, right? Uh, but it gets strange when, yeah, you have, like, urinals. You have uh, just regular toilets in a woman's restroom. You have men's. They're always dirtier or women's are. I don't know. It, there's a lot of stereotypes that are true about restrooms. And, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like... Uh, we should keep it the way it is. I mean, it's not like we're separating the water fountains of the blacks and the the whites. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, they still have the restroom to go into, just go into it. I don't know. It, it's, I feel like it's whatever you're born with, you know? Like, whatever the, whatever the prison system would classify you in, that's the restroom you're going to use, I feel like. That's that's the rule of thumb. Whatever prison you would go to if you were put in prison is what restroom you should use. There, I said it. Speaking of um, scientist uh, backlash, uh, scientists clone monkey to speed medical research. And Chinese Chinese researchers have cloned the first rhesus monkey. Not not to be. It's not made out of peanut butter and chocolate. A uh, species which is widely used in medical research because it's physiology is similar to humans they say they could speed up drug testing as genetically identical animals give like for like results providing greater certainty in trials this is kind of like that um Sh- Sh- M. Night Shyamalan movie uh where they speed up things for trials I don't know man like my buddies like clone mushrooms and stuff and when you start cloning a clone and then cloning a clone of a clone it gets a little like wonky you know uh I think there was a Rick and Morty episode kind of like that, where you started like having clones create clones and then the clones creating clones of clones, like I just said. Uh, and then doing it with monkeys, I feel like we're, we're this is like the start of all those uh, containment movies. You know, here's China doing something that, <laughs> they, they, you know, supposedly uh, a disease came from COVID and all that, and they're doing even more shit that goes against like the will of god and it's like dude like haven't you learned the first time like come on you know like let's let's kind of think just because we can do it doesn't mean we should do it you know let's slow down like take a like stop for a bit take a take a take but yeah no like that's just something i feel like we need to uh slow down like i, I think we're, we're going at a pretty good speed i don't think we need to go faster with our fucking uh you know speeding up cures of diseases whenever we're creating new ones and this and that whoa slow down a bit slow down a bit you know um speaking of diseases what is disease x world leaders discuss next pandemic risk and uh world leaders and experts will gather on wednesday at the annual world economic forum in switzerland to discuss disease x and the threats that another pandemic could pose and I guess they're just getting ready for like, you know, worst case scenario, which already happened. But if the worst case scenario happens again, they'll be ready for it. 
uh, and they'll have, I guess, money for it. I don't know. Um, they call it disease X because it said this so-called disease X emerging to the human population could result in 20 times more fatalities than the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. I know we still called it that. Um, I don't know. I, I could see us preparing for the worst and hoping for the best, but it's kind of too late for that because we're already going through shit. We're still feeling the effects of the other pandemic. So, like, I don't know. It, it's a lot of, like, uh, tw- hindsight 2020 bullshit. You know what I mean? We, we should have, could have, but we didn't. So, oh, well, what can we do? You know what I mean? Uh, speaking of uh, deaths and all that, uh, I thought this article was pretty interesting. World's oldest dog title under review as claim is investigated. Bobby, the Portuguese Mastiff, held the Geddes World Record when he died at the apparent age of 31 last October. And this was a good boy. He, you know, he looked like a cute little dude. And he apparently died at the age of 21. Um, but people are having their doubts about his lifespan. Uh, till Bobby's death, the most ancient recorded dog died at 29 years. However, the tributes were swiftly followed by scrutiny and suspicion about Bobby's record breaking age, which equates to more than two human years. Some observers noted that images of Bobby in 1999 showed that he had different colored paws to the dog that died in Portugal. While vets pointed out that although his age has been registered in the national pet database, such entries were usually based on owner's self-certification. Then there was genetic testing, which confirmed he was old but did not provide a precise age. <laughs> so they're really uh, digging into this. A totally serious investigation by the magazine Wired is really trying to like t- uh, tear this dog's legacy apart of him being the oldest living dog. Like, that's... I don't know. Like... You not have better things to do than to ruin this dog's legacy of him dying the oldest dog. You know what I mean? Like, of course he's not gonna care, but it's like you're you're tarnishing his legacy. Like, that's as bad as uh the the Air Buddies when they tarnished Air Bud's legacy of him fucking making all those football and basketball and soccer movies, and then they came around and they could talk and go to space and fucking travel through time and all that bullshit stupid air buddies uh that ruined air Bud's legacy it's fucking horse shit you know i th- or it's dog shit let's say that it's dog shit but uh lastly here in the news is what i talked about nicole kidman lied about her height to make it in hollywood and i mean that's not the worst thing someone i'm sure has lied about or has done to make it in hollywood but let's take a look at what she said. Nicole Kidman has admitted that she lied about her height after being told she was too tall to make it in Hollywood. She is very tall. She is a tall woman. The Oscar winning actress revealed she tells people her height is five feet and ten and a half inches when in fact she stands at five feet eleven inches. So there's a half inch that she lies about. And I don't know if uh, like I could see going, oh, I'm five foot five instead of five foot ten, but is really half an inch gonna fucking ruin your career? You know, because I know you look at her like she was what, yeah, like in a lot of Tom Cruise bullshit. You know, uh, Tom Cruise is a short little dude; he's tiny. And then, of course, if you have a tall ass Nicole Kidman standing next to him, he's gonna look fucking even shorter, and she's gonna look even taller. But is half an inch really gonna i guess it really makes a difference in hollywood half an inch i mean i don't know it says whenever i go to the red carpet i get sent shoes that are always so high i'm like do they have a kitten heel i'm going to be the tallest person i'm going to be a giraffe i don't know i feel like nowadays um companies are really looking for that now like the taller powerful woman like of course that didn't that wasn't a big deal back when back when you wanted a small petite big busty uh fucking dumb blonde type character or something that the hero could go save or whatever you know you didn't want your cameron diaz your uh nicole kidman your um what's her name is it gina davis the one from fucking uh league of their own the one from uh fucking the fly 
the one from uh, Beetlejuice. She's fucking tall. Is it is it Gina Davis? I think it's Gina Davis. She's a fucking tall woman. No, that is a fucking woman. <laughs> that's not a man. That's a woman. Now that I, I would I could see her trying to use the men's restroom, and I'd be like, yeah, no, go ahead, fucking twelve feet tall goddess. Go ahead and fucking piss in the urinal. I bet you you could with your flaps. Um, but yeah, no, that's another episode of That's All Funny. I want to thank you for tuning in, listening, and all that other stuff. I really appreciate uh, all of you that keep me going. I really do. So that's All Funny Podcast. Available podcasts are anywhere they're available. Just search That's All Funny. Um, any preferred player you want. If you uh, like wrestling, check out this other podcast I do with my buddy Gabe called That's All Kayfabe, where we talk about wrestling. Uh, that's a weekly podcast. comes out to, comes out on Mondays. You can see both of those podcasts on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola, uh, where we do that. I have uh, all the other episodes, audio on there, as well as the live show I do Tuesday nights with uh, mint salad called Fits and Areolas. <laughs> We talk about movies, play a game, have some fun. You can see uh, all the archived episodes of that, other bonus episodes, or you can help support the channel by checking out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 a month gets you everything. Uh, like I said, bonus episodes, early episodes, archived episodes, uh, a few deleted episodes, bonus episodes, etc. Uh, and check out the website, retrohoring.com, where we have uh, merch, like t-shirts, prints, and uh, stickers. Or if you want to spend a commission, some great art from a great artist, at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram. Again, that website is www.retrohoring.com. The Bret Hart of Graphic Art. He will help you out with anything you need as far as graphic art goes and all that. I want to thank you all for listening. I want to thank you my Patreon members for helping support everything. <laughs> Not everything, but helping support, uh, keep me going. And thank you for the listeners, and we'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye.